Well, on this last time out, uh, a frustrating one, right? Uh, obviously, a hotly contested result there. So, what, what lessons do you take out of a, a fight like that? Uh, mate, I uh, actually learned a hell of a lot of lessons. It, uh, it actually made me uh, make certain changes in my training camp, uh, make certain changes there that were needed to be able to help myself progress and just really get the best out of myself. So, I mean, even looking at the fight, I mean, me and my dad watched it back like a load of times. And obviously, you know, I threw more of my techniques and I was a, a lot more loose in there. So, you know, aside from the fact, obviously, the result wasn't what we wanted. We like we know now, like, yeah, we can throw all these things. We can do all these things. Now it's just a case of stress strategically and, you know, just the way that you're fighting to be able to bring out and like unlock your 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 full potential, which I know I have and I know I've got. And it's just a case of just bringing it out there. That was already just like that first step to doing that. So I was happy that I was got out of the way. Obviously not the result we wanted, but had I had won, I wouldn't have made the appropriate adjustments that I did. So I'm actually very grateful as well. <laughs> as bad as it is, like, you know, financially, and then, you know, obviously having a loss on your record and stuff like that, and two in a row, whatever, is it, it couldn't have been a better thing that happened to me. It's, all, it's a very mature way of looking at it. Were, were, you, were you that way immediately after, or was there just like a whole lot of anger <laughs> and frustration first? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I was necessarily, I was just a bit more just like, like, I don't know, like, just taken aback because, like I said, I thought, I, you know, I really did enough to win that fight. I think I, I sort of just had to let it process in my mind a little bit. Uh, obviously, yeah, straight away, it, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't the greatest feelings in the world sitting back in the hotel room and on the flight back. But as soon as we got home and everything, it was right there. And then we, we, we started planning our attack or planning our, our, our way forward in order to be able to eradicate those errors and uh, put on good performances. That's awesome. So a lot of positives. Talk to me, though, about preparing for this event, because I'm curious for, for guys like yourself, you know, when this thing gets relocated, and then there's visa issues, I imagine, and concerns, like what are the laws going to be? Are they going to change things? Was this a, a tough training camp to, to keep focused on, like, yeah, that's the date I'm going to be fighting? Uh, there was never a change of focus, because I was already focused <laughs> probably about 15 weeks out. Like, do you know what I mean? Already straight after I had my, the other fight, I, I was back in, I was back in the room figuring out, okay, what do we need to need to do to go forward? What do we need to do to, to be able to fight the way that I want to fight and the way that my dad knows that I can fight? Because he's probably the only guy that has really seen absolutely everything. And it's just a case of being able to do it out there on the night. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, uh, yeah. And then obviously, I was lucky enough that I got my visa already sorted. So I had no problems in that area. So, so that was all good. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I really wanted to fight in front of a crowd. That would have been absolutely amazing. You know, hometown, people cheering for you. And I'm probably going to get a load of booze coming out. Do you know what I mean? Well, I, I don't know what it's like. I'm, I'm pretty sure there might be a couple of British people out there in, in, in the small crowd at the apex. Do you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe one or two out there. Um, but, yeah, that was the main thing for me. I just wanted to fight in front of a crowd, finally, in front of a big stage, in front of my hometown. Like, do you know what I mean? But... This is the fight capital of the world. This is Las Vegas. I mean, how could you not be happy? Do you know what I mean? I had really, I had like really good feels the last time I was here. Do you know the way the UFC treats you and everything like that? So, uh, you know, I'm I'm just proud and excited to be doing that once again. Very nice. Talk about the matchup, Khalil. Obviously, he's had some setbacks as well, but obviously, he's an incredibly dangerous guy in there. So, what do you think about the matchup uh, itself? Yeah, he's a very dangerous guy. He's, it's, it's almost a situation where your idols become rivals because I remember watching him on The Ultimate Fighter when I was like, I think I just turned pro. I think I was like maybe like 21 or something. I remember me and my dad have our little, our little thing, like our little ritual just to keep watching Ultimate Fight every weekend. Just like the last one, we did the same thing. You know, it's like our father-son time. And we, yeah, we were watching Khalil, um, and uh, yeah, obviously he's very dangerous, very explosive, and he's one of those guys where I was like, yeah, this guy's really good. So uh, now for him to be standing across the cage in front of me, it's, it's, like a, it's like a wow moment, but it's like exciting, you know, to be able to fight someone of that caliber. Uh, very explosive, very powerful. It's going to make for a very explosive matchup. And I know you said, like, hey, you know, setbacks, losses, or whatever. But, I mean, does this feel big? Like, I mean, nobody wants to lose three in a row, right? Or regard, I mean, I don't think a lot of people think you lost that last fight. But still, I mean, does this feel like an, an important kind of must-win type situation? Yeah, to me, it's, it's do or die, kill or be killed. you got to, like, I'm really embracing the true gladiator mentality. You know, you got to go out there and do the job at the end of the day. And for me, it's just about really just embracing that embracing just the whole environment every time I feel like good good energy positive vibes you know what I mean and just like really just like do you know what forget all that pressure forget all this or that just go out there go and perform do, do put yourself out there properly leave no stone unturned that's the way I want to fight and that's the way that I'm going to be able to bring out the best of myself and get that win
Nice. Last thing for me, uh, what, do you, what kind of fight do you think we see? Because on paper, it looks like it's going to be uh, it looks like it's going to be fireworks. Mate, fireworks is exactly the word. It's going to be an absolute banger. You do not want to miss this fight. Is all I can say. All right. Just curious, when you realised that like, there wasn't going to be a crowd, was there any part of you that was like, oh, maybe I'll just wait or push it to a pay per view, or do you just think like I'll fight when I fight? Hell no. <laughs> as soon as as soon as my manager comes out with, oh yeah, you've got another fight coming up, I'm like straight away, I'm like excited. You get the buzz, you get like the the jitters, like oh yeah, I'm getting a fight coming up. I'm I'm always excited. I just want to, you know, without any, you know, if if I'm if I'm healthy and everything like that, I want to get in as much as I can. Do you know what I mean? It's it's a it's an experience just to be able to do this thing, and we don't get to do this that often. You know, the time's running out in terms of everyone's time to be able to do this you've got new people coming up as well it's such a an exciting time to fight so uh yeah like for me man uh, to fight in vegas is an absolute like, absolute honor for me so whether it would have been london vegas whatever extremely happy to go out there and do my thing cool. Good. Awesome. Thank you, sir. yes please